Hello, my sweets. Welcome back to Beauty Meets DIY. Thank you so much for watching. This is Helen. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and healthy and as positive as you can. So today's video, uh, in my opinion, is pretty fun DIY. I hope that you enjoy it. And coming right up, I'm going to show you what my inspiration for this DIY was. I've seen online and on Pinterest a lot of these mugs that are uh, made with beads. And if you notice on top, you can either uh, search them uh, afro latina nubian beaded mugs or afrocentric nubian mugs that sort of thing as, it, as you can see they're really pretty they are made with beads and um, rhinestones uh, so i've been seeing them a lot on pinterest like i said online and so that kind of was my inspiration for my diy today so coming right up you're going to need a canvas uh, that you can get at either any of the craft stores with a coupon. You're going to need an ele uh, 18 by 24, I believe this is. You don't want anything smaller. I usually find a good deal at Ross. They usually come for a good price. I think I got two in a pack for $6.99. But again, you can find them at any craft store. And again, this size is at 18 by 24. I'm going to turn it on its side. Now, for the DIY, you're going to need a face, obviously. So, online on Google, I search afro latina or um african nubian vector as you can see here obviously i'm a latina so i went with afro latina nubian vector and that's going to show you different faces as you can see here uh, right now i'm going to click here and if you go to this one that's the one that i picked um, for myself but there are a lot of faces and a lot of different options um, coming right up, I'm going to show you if you're African American, obviously you're going to, um, you're going to type in, uh, Afro Nubian vector. And as you can see, it show, it shows pictures of a lot of my African Queens out there. So if you can see, there is, um, different options that you can choose from. You know hairstyles the, the pattern that you want to follow the faces and that sort of thing so coming right up if you are um, Caucasian or any nationality really you can go ahead I did right here um, I typed in woman face vector and there will show you um, different faces um, maybe a Marilyn Monroe, that sort of thing. So whatever nationality you are or whatever face you want, it doesn't have to be your nationality. It could be any face that you want. So I chose that one, and I'm going to show you the different methods that you can choose to go about creating your face. So I printed this out. My husband enlarged it for me. Um, so one way is that you can put it underneath the canvas against the light. If you can see, if you have a, a light behind it, you can see the shadow and you can use a um, Sharpie that doesn't bleed, a black one, and then you can trace it very carefully. Your other option is that carbon copy type of a thing. You can take a pencil and just color the back of it with the pencil and that's gonna allow you to flip it around and then it's gonna trace it on to your canvas and you're just gonna go ahead and trace uh, the feature carefully and that's another option in my case I decided to go the easier route um, because I do uh, own a Cricut so I went ahead and printed the face out on black canvas and that's the way I'm going about doing mine now this had its little challenges I'm still not an expert at using the Cricut but it is an awesome machine and you can do so much endless things with it so here, as you can see, uh, I went ahead and I'm kind of guiding myself by the picture. Um, later on, I will show you that my husband did double up the face for me. In other words, you can see that one side or the left side of her face is covered by her hair, her eyes being covered. But I wanted to show both eyes, so he kind of did a double take on the printer and then he went and we went ahead and printed it out on the Cricut. So what I'm doing right now is that with the, my little tool, I'm peeling off the parts of the face that I'm not going to need and I'm only going to keep the parts that I want to transfer onto my canvas. So I'm going to do this a little carefully, it was being a little stubborn, the uh, vinyl, it was 
sticking on and didn't want to come off but in the end I managed to get it done and now I'm just finishing up see this is what I mean the picture doesn't show all her face um, but my husband went ahead and doubled it up for me because that's what I wanted and um, yeah but again you can use any face that you want and you can do any type of design this is just my take on it and I'm just giving you inspiration you guys that's all I'm doing so now we're gonna go ahead and take that um, you know that that clear contact paper that's gonna that is gonna kind of lift my image so that I can go ahead and transfer it onto my canvas so if you own a Cricut you know what I mean and if you don't then you know I just have to make sure that the image the vinyl is sticking on pretty well into my transfer paper so that when I lift it up it's gonna be on the contact paper um, so this again was a little challenging I'm not an expert I'm still learning but here I am I'm just you know scraping you know just pressing on just making sure so for this you're gonna use these ornaments from the Dollar Tree I picked the small and medium size and different uh, shades and designs and I just kind of mixed it up in there this is the color scheme that I decided to go to along the lines of the gold hues with the silver but again this is customizable to what you want to do so I went ahead and removed this part right here and this is optional right here but I think for me this is what I wanted to do when you do do this be very careful because these can easily crack and break so you have to be very gentle with it when you do that but I kind of wanted that flat surface so as you can see I've done all of them and these are the sizes that I'm using the smaller one and then the medium ones because I think they have even larger ones so as you can see in my canvas I have turned to its side I put on my face and now I'm just gonna go ahead and start gluing on I do recommend that you use a stronger glue I did use my Gorilla brand glue sticks which are my absolute favorite I think they are the best in my opinion I went ahead and used those and they haven't really fallen off I think they've held on pretty well so you can use it if you want to but if you want a for sure secure thing then go ahead and use your E6000 something comparable and with your hot glue as well so there's no specific pattern that I'm going with right now I'm just kind of placing that as I go I'm thinking about her hair and how I want to create kind of like an afro big hair situation so I'm doing that and I'm also guiding myself with a picture um, that I see online uh, from some of the mugs or whatever hairstyle it is that you want to create there's many many options and so that's what I'm doing here and so I'm gonna go on and on until I fill it up mixing up my uh, balls so to speak in the pattern that I want I'm placing the bigger ones the medium ones first and then later on um, I'm going to go ahead and fill in the little gaps here and there with the smaller ones guys if you're enjoying this video so far please please give me a thumbs up every video I ask you to please give me a thumbs up and you guys are so awesome you always give me more than thumbs up you give me awesome comments I appreciate you guys so much keep them coming because again it lets me know that you want more videos from me like this so this is how my girl is looking like so far we're gonna call her Louisa because this is going to my mom she wants it she claimed it and her name is Louisa so my girl Louisa is looking good <laughs> um, and so now I'm just gonna fill in those little gaps like I told you with the smaller ornament and later on um, Dollar Tree also was having the glittered foam balls in different size in a pack and I did go ahead I'm not gonna show on camera but I did go ahead and fill it in later on so yeah, now we're gonna grab a uh, bathroom curtain ring, shower curtain ring from Dollar Tree. And we're gonna create some girl, some earrings for my girl. So what I did is I found my middle part and I just snapped it and it's pretty easy. I snapped it in half and now I'm gonna glue it and position to where I think her ears would be <laughs> for her earrings. And this again this is a good opportunity if you guys have any uh, broken jewelry pieces any brooches or anything like that that have broken or that you no longer want to use you can go ahead and use them for something like this and they can serve as her earrings so that's a good idea so I decided to give her some hoops 
and then coming right up I'm just gonna embellish my hoops with some rhinestones so I went ahead and I applied my rhinestones all along the little hoop there and that's what I did So off camera, I'm going to continue on with her hair later on, filling her hair up and just adding more of the, you know, the balls or the ornaments, however you call it, in different sizes. Now we're moving on. We're going to jazz her up a little bit. We're going to do her lips. I am applying a little layer of Mod Podge here uh, on her lips, not on the black outline of her lips, obviously, just the middle part. And um, I decided to use a, kind of like a rose gold. Um, hue of a uh, glitter and I'm just um, giving her some pretty lips and so off camera I'm not going to show you but I did do her eyes a little bit with gold and I jazzed her up a little bit more but this is the idea overall um, I've showed you how to apply the ornaments her earrings the glitter and I'm just going to add a little more to her off camera And yeah, so coming right up, you guys, I'm going to show you how Louisa ended up looking. I think she looks fabulous. Uh, even still, after this clipping here, I'm going to jazz her up a little more. Uh, I think I ran out of, uh, I have to get more ornaments. But overall, I think that she turned out absolutely beautiful. I think she is definitely a conversation piece. She definitely reminds me of those mugs. Um, I did go ahead, like I said, and aside from the ornaments, I did take... Uh, the glittered foam balls that they have now at Dollar Tree they're in a bag and I just kind of place them every so often to fill in those little gaps but I think she turned out so so pretty and you guys can definitely go ahead and paint your canvas if you want to you can uh, paint her a different color maybe to match your skin tone however it is or you can just leave her like this um, but this again is just to give you guys some inspiration. I think this will look beautiful in a beauty room uh, A nice walk-in closet that you have all set up with your little uh, Vanity and that sort of thing or even in a living room if you're a single girl or if your husband doesn't mind Hey, um, but I think it is absolutely gorgeous Let me know if this is something that you're going to recreate and if you do I want to know what color scheme you're gonna go with Please let me know in the comments section down below. This is what she looks like when the lights are dimmed I love the way uh, she glistens in the night and when the lights are dim it just kind of shines and it's just so so pretty again i want to know your thoughts please let me know down below i hope you enjoyed this video as much as i enjoy making it for you and again let me know uh, if you're going to do this and give me those thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and for those that are i appreciate you so so much you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye everyone